Thank you very much, Catherine. We're talking knee pain with Rich, uh, Rich Thaw and Jess Messias here this morning. And we have a special guest joining us. Our BT Extra is Stella Rambidis. Uh, Stella, welcome to the show. Thank Great you. to have Thank you here. You now, so before we get to these guys, never mind these guys. You're the BT Extra. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, Stella. Well, I work in the financial services industry. Okay. And I saw that you were looking for an extra. And uh, I, when I was younger, I was interested in communication. Okay. So I said, hey, this is fun. I want to see what it's like to be behind here in the, in the studio, behind the cameras. And uh, nice. learn a little bit of how to get... Uh, more fit. <laughs> now, do you do you work out uh, at all? On and off. On and, on off. and off. Okay. I need well, to get back into it. Not to worry. These guys will inspire you and motivate <laughs> you to work out. I guarantee it. Good. They've done it for they've done it for Super. me. But today, guys, we're talking about knee pain in particular. And Rich, this is one of those things like back pain. When we get the knee pain, we stop working out immediately, right? Because yeah. we don't want to re-injure ourselves or it's too painful. That might not be the best method. No, actually, not at all. I mean, the first, the first thing is when you have some type of pain, like, it sucks. I totally yeah. get it. But You've been through it. I, yeah, right? I, honestly, I've, I've had knee pain. I've had bad pain. Actually, Stella was telling us her back is kind of tender. So, okay. like, it's really tough to keep showing up to the gym. But you have to realize, first and foremost, not only if you have one knee that hurts. Listen, you have three other limbs. Like, you can do other things at the gym. Right. And when you start falling off the wagon, it's so easy to be like, oh, hey, like, I didn't go to the gym. I'm not good enough to keep going. Right. Right. So it's very easy to think of okay, what else can I do, and Jess can talk a lot more about this, what else can I do to train around that injury while it's starting to heal? Yeah, Jess, you must see this often in, in your practice, right? As a physiotherapist, somebody comes in and goes, listen, I haven't worked out for six weeks because I have a, a, a bad knee. So let's talk, first of all, what are some of the causes of, of knee pain? Obviously, we know injuries, major injuries, but what are some of the, the other things that can cause knee pain? The, the main factor when it comes to pain in the knee, for example, is what we would call load management error, where it's basically when we're loading up something a little more than it can handle right now. Okay. So the solution, you know, although it makes sense to just let it rest and feel better, the solution is actually to modify what we're doing to it, work at a level that we can actually tolerate, and then build ourselves back up. So right. when we try and do too much a little bit too soon, that we end up with some, you know, nagging aches and pains. So you mentioned tender back. Absolutely. Was that one of the issues for yes. you that you've stopped working out uh, as, yes, as regularly? Yes, my, my back has locked and I have this issue on and, on and off, but I know that I need to strengthen my back. So All right. Well. Well, we're going to strengthen your knee this morning. <laughs> Probably your back as well, right? Because we're doing some extras here. So, speaking Rich, pain, let's see. Uh, speaking of knee pain, let's talk about backs. Um, so, what are, what are we doing let's, here? Actually, so let's, let's join Jess right here. So, okay. Yeah, you can lie just like that. Um, and pretty much, so what Jess is doing is the one leg version. So, okay. you can go ahead and do, and do the two leg version. Like so, both okay. legs are on the ground. A big thing to note here is that when you are, so, so you can kind of pay attention to this also. Can we arch our back, like push your belly button to the roof? Arch your back the other way. Yeah. Okay, no, let's yeah. do the opposite. Squish the ground. So low back touches the ground. Do you feel your abs go on there? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Keep that position. Actually, oh. put your hands on your ribs right here. Do you feel your ribs? Yes. Do you feel your hip bones? Yeah. Do your pinkies feel your hip bones? Now they do. Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> right? I want you to keep the, the distance okay. very close together and pick up your bum. Stop right there. Yeah. Can we pause? So the leave it pause up? up there. Okay. Yeah, pause up there. Do you feel your bum squeeze? Oh, yeah. Good. So <laughs> what, what, what is this working exactly? Awesome. Here? Stella, what's this working here? Everything. The pause abs, up there. Pause up there. Pause. The lower back. Sorry, I'm gonna get a little. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna touch you. Fist close, okay? Okay. Is this squeezed here? No. Is that squeezed? Can oh, you squeeze okay. that? More. Can you squeeze that? <laughs> okay, cool. Right. So that's a butt. So right here, but I had her do oh. with putting her hands here. I made her keep those ribs closed. Right. And this is very good for people with back pain or with knee pain because it teaches you to move without like going into your back, and teaches right. you to push with the heels. So you use your butt. Use right. the glutes. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah which, exactly. Which many people don't work out enough, right? Exactly. It's one of the biggest muscles on uh, in an, our, yeah. our entire it's, body. It's a great muscle to look at, also. Like I'm just going to be forward with that. Listen, <laughs> you are correct, sir. <laughs> uh, all right, what's next here? So this is kind of the same concept, moving down that principle of using like the posterior, using the back side of our body. Okay. So Stella can do this. We're putting both hands on our legs right here. All right. Um, and we're bending our knees nice and soft. And we're going to feel our heels. Can you shift back so you have the weights in your heels? So you're putting all the weight on the, on the heel yeah, in this situation. Yeah, that's what I, I just want you okay. to feel or be aware of your heels. Because right. a lot of the time with knee pain, like Jess mentioned, you're kind of on your toes a lot. So we're just okay. shifting that weight back. Can you reach your butt back towards the screen behind us there? Right? Bum back. Do you feel a hamstring stretch? Oh, yeah. How about you, Derek? Yeah. Bend the oh, heel right yeah. here. Cool. Now I'll stand up nice and tall. Now I'm going to ask you the same thing, but we've got to keep those abs on. Mm. Okay? So abs flexed, and then we're coming right back and right here. And yeah, the knees yeah. bent a bit, right? The knees are nice and soft. Okay. See, if this is too easy, if you do like a deadlift too much, this is called like a Romanian or a stiff leg deadlift, then we can move towards like a one leg version. Okay. Which is what, Je what kind of Jess is doing here. So we're staggering our feet. And same kind of concept. So I want you to take your left hand, uh, your right hand, excuse me, 
and put it on the inside of your knee. Mm -hmm. Cool. And we do the same thing. We're reaching that uh, left bum back. So you kind of feel a stretch yeah. in that left leg. Yeah. And then come on up. And it, this isn't putting a lot of pressure on the knee, but doing no. just enough, right? Not, yeah, exactly. So again, we're trying to like train the body. We're kind of like stress the body to yeah. get off of those toes. Guys, we, we, I, I hate to say sorry. it, but we've run out of time. That's but okay. as we go to break here, let's get Jess doing something else here, <laughs> right? Jess, because he hasn't, yeah, worked out the whole, he hasn't worked out the whole five minutes this time. Stella, thanks for joining. You're going to stick pleasure. around, right? You're going to join us yes, in the kitchen, yes, Natalia yes, Machado. Yes. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. We'll be back with more BT right after this.